This is the Identifying Fractions tool. When you open this tool, you will see a blank horizontal model and an area for the fraction number. To the right are a series of buttons that control the visibility of the model and one that links the fraction model to the number. Clicking here hides and shows the model. This hides and shows the number and this links and unlinks the model to the fraction number. Let's begin using the default linking mode. Therefore, when I put a number in the denominator, in this case 6, you can see that the model is divided into 6 equal parts. When I enter a numerator, let's say 3, the model reflects that by showing three of the parts shaded. Since the model and the number are linked, I can also use the slider to adjust the model and the number of equal parts in the model, or the up and down arrow to shade and unshade the model, which now is reflected in the number. An optional number pad can be activated with a click in this checkbox. This option is helpful with interactive whiteboards. Notice that in the same area is an option to use Mix Numbers. Since the number pad is selected, when I click here, it becomes visible and I can use it to enter a number. The number pad floats with me as I enter the numerator. The buttons to the left present the fraction as different models, as pies, as vertical bars, the default horizontal bars, area, sets, and number line. The use of a variety of models can help students clarify ideas. Be sure to emphasize that the unit can be an object or a collection of things and that the parts are equal sized portions of the whole unit. Click the circular reset button to clear the display and reset default settings. We suggest that when you first introduce fractions to students that you begin using the models only by hiding the fraction number. Students can then be asked to create the models using the slider and the up and down arrows. After some practice with the models only, the numbers can be shown. Be sure to point out that as you divide the whole into more parts, the denominator becomes larger, but each part becomes smaller. Once students appear to have a clear understanding of the relationship between the models and the number, move on to lessons in which linking is not used. This requires students to create a model and then enter the number. The teacher may choose to work with the numbers only by clicking on the Hide Show Model button. One activity would be to display a fraction number, ask students to create the fraction by using manipulatives or drawings, which they then share with a peer. The model can be shown for comparison. The circular button with the X would end the session with this tool. You can see that this Identifying Fractions tool provides a medium for solidifying students' conceptual understanding of fractions and linking that understanding to the procedures for writing fractions.